Hello, my name is Petra Štefaníková. I'm from Czech Technical University in Prague and I would like to introduce our paper called The Greedy Randomized Adaptive Search Procedure for Close Enough Orienteering Problem. Here we see several locations that might represent sensors or wireless detectors. Our goal is to collect data from these sensors or communicate with these stations. One of the effective ways to fly between these places would be to utilize a drone. In practice, the vehicle has only a limited battery which doesn't allow visiting all of these locations. Therefore, we select only a subset of these locations based on their importance. Then, the task is to find an order and the red path collecting the data from the subset. This task, named the orienteering problem, further denoted as OP, was firstly introduced in 1987 by Golden and Bora. It was derived from a sport called orienteering, where the competitors managed to visit the most rewarding places within some time limit. It can be described as a combination of two combinatorial problems, knapsack problem to determine the subset of locations to meet the travel budget and the traveling salesman problem to find the shortest sequence of places within the subset. On the right side, you can see an example of an OP instance with a possible solution. The rewards are depicted in colors where the red represents the most rewarding ones and the blue is for the least rewarding ones. The initial and final location is fixed. Relatively recently, an extension of OP has been introduced to encounter the sensing radius which allows to shorten the path and thus increase the collected reward. This generalization is called the close enough orienteering problem, denoted CEOP, where the locations expand to the disk sensing area. The original OP is strictly combinatorial, but the CEOP contains continuous optimization of a path connecting the selected sensing areas. In CEOP, we want to maximize the reward R that is collected from the selected subset in subject to several constraints. The first and major constraint is to fit the total path length into the travel budget Tmax, which may represent the drone battery limit, for example. Secondly, the waypoint locations of the path in which the vehicle collects the data has to be within the disk area determined by the specific location and the sensing radius row. The CEOP is a challenging problem because it combines discrete and continuous parts. In literature, we can find two approaches on how to tackle this problem and we use them in this work as our baseline. The first is unsupervised learning, growing self-organizing array based on principle of self-organizing map. This method was originally developed for traveling salesman problem and similar routing problems. It is constructive heuristic that converge in several iterations, which provides a solution quickly. However, once the solution is found, it cannot be improved any further. In contrast, variable neighborhood search is anytime algorithm which iteratively tries to improve the current solution using the variable neighborhood structures. In each iteration, the algorithm consists of two phases. The first is a shake procedure to escape the local extreme by a random using of a single point insertion or exchange operator. And secondly, the local search procedure tries to improve the current solution by using path operators. In this paper, we want to address the drawbacks of the two previously mentioned methods. The first, GSOA, is unable to escape the local extreme, and the second, DNS, is very computationally demanding if we want to find a high-quality solution. Therefore, 
we utilize the greedy randomized adaptive search procedure that is also one of the construction meta heuristics and was already used for the OP. This method contains two parts. In construction phase, locations are inserted in the path until the travel budget is reached. The current path is further improved in the local search phase. The main benefit of the algorithm is that both phases are trying to escape the local optima, while the computational time is comparable to GSOA. Notice that there exist several implementations as segment remove, utilized in this paper, or path relinking. And now, we will show how the grasp with segment remove for OP works in detail. At the beginning of the construction phase, the initial path connects the initial and final location. Remaining locations are attempted to be added to the current path, which increases the reward. All these paths are considered to be candidates for the new path. We call the list of all possibilities the candidate list. To focus the search toward high quality solutions, we reduce the candidate list based on reward. The candidates with at least 20% reward compared to the best one are considered further. From this restricted candidate list is randomly chosen, for example, this path. This path becomes the current path for the next iteration. Again, candidate paths are generated based on the remaining locations. However, now we have two possible positions for the insertion. Grasp chooses the path with the shortest prolongation to enable further insertions. Let's see this one again. As before, all paths with a new location create a candidate list. One continues as a current path. Now, when we add a new location, the travel budget is exceeded. Therefore, the newly created path cannot be considered as a candidate. In such a case, we try to remove part of the path to test if this inserted location can be more beneficial to the total reward. We call this method segment remove. Paths with improved rewards are included in the candidate list. The construction phase terminates when the candidate list is empty, which means that no better solution has been found. The segment remove can be implemented very effectively. Let's consider this path. We want to insert this location. However, the travel budget would be exceeded. And thus, we need to find a segment to be removed to meet the budget. We start the search with a single location to be removed and if necessary, we extend the segment until the budget is met. When the reward of the new path improves, we add this path to the candidate list. Then we move the beginning of the segment one step further and check the travel budget again. This whole process continues until the end of the path is reached. Here the reward improves. Finally, all possible segments are considered in the linear number of steps compared to the length of the current path. All improving paths are inserted into the candidate list. When no improving path is found in the construction phase, the second part, the local search phase, is executed to further improve the current path. As a first step in the local search phase, a single location is attempted to be removed from the current path to escape from the local extreme and consequently the path is shortened by removing the crossed segments using two opt optimization. Since the path might be shorter than the travel budget, we try to insert a new locations which may increase the total reward compared to the original path before removing. From all possible combinations, the best improvement is selected. The whole process is repeated until no improvement is found. And thus, the final solution has been determined. Now we want to extend the previously described CRASP approach for the close enough orienteering problem, where the data can be collected considering the disk-shaped sensing area. In the first construction phase of the CRASP algorithm, 
we have to determine a waypoint location from which the reward is collected for each inserted sensing area. To do so, we used a straightforward heuristic that determines the waypoint location as the closest point of the disk area to the original path. Once the waypoint location is set, it is not updated in the construction phase any further. Obviously, the path may be shortened by a local waypoint optimization which may enable to increase the collected reward. Therefore, we also execute the local waypoint optimization after two opt optimization in the local search phase. Since we want to study the influence of the waypoint optimization in the local search phase, we implemented two approaches, one without the waypoint optimization in the local search phase, denoted further only grasp, and one with the waypoint optimization denoted GRASP OPT. These both GRASP variants are compared to the two existing approaches previously mentioned GSOA and VNS to show the enhancement of the found solution by the GRASP-based methods. These four approaches were examined on the three existing datasets. Examples of diverse instances are depicted. Here, we can see the results for the Chao set 64 with 64 locations in diamond-shaped structure, with sensing radius 0.5 for each location. The left plot shows the average total reward for each budget relatively to the best found solution over all runs. The lines represent the relative mean reward and the semi-transparent areas represent 80% non-parametric confidence interval. Based on computational time on the right side, both GRASP variants are faster than the VNS, but moreover, the GRASP OPT obtained a comparable total reward. GRASP OPT also found the better solution than the GSOA in the same computational time. In this paper, we extended the existing method GRASP with segment remove to solve the generalized close enough orienteering problem with disk shaped neighborhood areas. This proposed approach achieved excellent results compared to the two existing methods. GRASP obtained better solution than the growing self organizing array and spent less computational time than the variable neighborhood search. In future work, we want to use GRASP-based algorithm for the close enough traveling salesman problem. We can also modify this algorithm to consider a curvature constraint vehicle or just improve the waypoint location heuristic. Thank you for your attention and for more information, see the box below.